Let's go to the top 10 apps. First one is Cerebrus. This is the first one on the list because it also happens to be the first app that I believe everybody should download immediately, um, especially if you just got your phone, it's brand new, or anytime you get a brand new phone, this is the first app you should download. It's the best app out right now for when you lose your phone, or, or worse, it gets stolen. So say you lost your phone, all you do is log on to CerebrusApp.com from any computer or smartphone, and you can send an alarm. And it takes the phone off silent, it maxes the volume, and plays a really loud, a really loud, a really loud car alarm siren. But the thing that really makes this app shine is when your phone gets stolen. It happens, unfortunately, whether it's by thieves or by prank happy coworkers. You can finally do something about it. In addition to the alarm with Cerebrus, you can remotely lock your phone with a pin. You can wipe all data, including the SD card, remotely. You can track its live location, the movement and you. location history with GPS. You can also record audio secretly with the phone's mic, take a picture of the thief, using the front-facing camera, or even take a video. And if that wasn't enough, this is all done secretly in the background without any apps or pop-up showing. And after it's done, it emails it to you. So when it takes that picture of a thief, what it, whatever email you set up in the beginning, um, it will send that email um, It will send that picture in an email. So it's free to try for six days, and then it's $4.00. A one-time fee, four dollars. After that, if you want to purchase it, um, it easily puts apps like Find My Phone and Android Device Manager to shame. Okay, this next app is Gravity Screen. Uh, it's one of those rare apps that totally changes the way you use your phone on a daily basis, but in an ingenious and convenient fashion. It's called Gravity Screen, and basically, what this does it is it allows you to turn on and off the phone screen by utilizing the proximity and motion center sensors built into every phone. Um, for me, it's the reason why I don't even have a lock screen um, on my phone. When I'm, when I'm done with my phone, I just put it in my pocket and or I turn it upside down and the screen automatically shuts off and stays shut off until I pull it out of my pocket or turn it over. No buttons to press, no pin, no pattern, just quick access to my phone. And if you're worried about security, there's apps like Smart App Detector that or Smart App Protector, sorry, that can individually lock an app with a pin or a pattern. This also comes in handy if you have one of those cases that doubles as a wallet like my wife has for her S3. Um, it basically replicates the smart cover, only now you could use any cover. Uh, this one was like a dollar or five dollars or something really ridiculously cheap on Amazon. Um, the app is free, but I believe it's only for Androids or jailbroken iPhones. This next app uh, has way too many features to go over um, in the amount of time I want to spend on this video. It's called Power Amp, and it's probably the most popular and feature-rich music player ever made for smartphones. Um, I'm kind of ashamed for only recently realizing its true epicness last year. The developers, they literally thought of everything. If you have or play music on your phone, then you'll definitely want to grab this app. The first thing you will notice is its support for themes. Um, maybe not the first thing, um, but in the first part of the settings, you'll see all these themes. And all you have to do is do a quick... Play Store search for Power Amp, and you will see um, all the available themes for it. My favorite features about PowerAmp are ones you can't find anywhere else. 
And the first one is the built-in tan band equalizer. Um, the gapless playback, the ability to crossfade between songs. It can automatically download missing album art. And the large widget looks aesthetically appealing on your home screen. And it allows full control over the song that's playing. I also love that slow uh, fade out and fade in when you switch songs. That's pretty cool. The major seller for me was the ability to play songs from folders. All I have to do is make sure all my favorite rap songs are in a folder that I call Favor Rap. And I could play a song from there instantly. And even better, I could play the whole contents of that folder on shuffle. Um, so I love that feature. It defeats the need to make playlists uh, such a tiny detail, but it makes a world of a difference for me. It's free to try for 15 days. Uh, then you'll need to buy the full version for $4. Again, one-time fee. And this next app is Key Keyboard. I did a full uh, review and tutorial on Key Keyboard, but to sum it up, get it. It's awesome. Makes life easier. Um, another app with way too many features to list right now, but my favorites include, of course, uh, the ability to swipe, or how, as they call it, um, gesture type. Um, it's really accurate and has a really high success rate when swiping, um, better than any other keyboard with similar swiping features. You have access to all the emojis as well as shortcuts to some of the coolest little Japanese-inspired emoticons that I love to use. Uh, alien text is also pretty neat and an easy way to stand out in places that only allow texts. The number rows at the top and the arrows at the bottom, um, they add even more convenience and speed to your typing in addition to swiping. And of course, you can customize uh, the size, looks, and color of it um, using built-in themes or the themes from other keyboards like Go Keyboard that are also compatible with Key. The app is free. But a lot of the useful features that I, I use daily, um, like the ones I mentioned, are only available through the one-time in-app upgrade purchase, which is about $5. Uh, this next app is Modern Flip Clock. Finally, a simple app to talk about. This is seriously, it's just a clock. Um, it's a very sexy looking one at that, and I'm a sucker for flip clocks, and sadly there isn't very many good looking flip clock apps out there right now. Um, you just run the app and it turns your phone into a nice little flip desk clock. Works best if your phone or case has a kickstand. Uh, not too much customization yet, but hopefully the developer will offer more customizing options in the future. Um, I see a free version and a 99 cent version. I'm thinking the free one has ads on it. And this one that I have is the 99 cent version with no ads. Uh, next is Project M. It's a rather simple app. It's basically just cool visual visualizations uh, that react to whatever music you happen to be playing on your phone. Whether it's Power Amp or Pandora, this will pick it up. A few options in there, but nothing too crazy. Uh, simply swipe to the left or right to change the visualization, or just leave it playing and it'll change automatically, kind of like a slideshow, uh, slowly fading into the next effect. It's a pretty cool little app and it looks great when you play it on your TV. Um, its free version has ads, but you can purchase the ad-free version in the Play Store today for $3. Next app is Apex Launcher. 
Uh, if you're familiar with customizing your phone, then this app you're probably already using or have at least heard of. But if you're new to it, then this might actually make your head hurt. It's called Apex Launcher, and basically it's a home screen replacement app. And let's face it, stock home screens are fugly. Um, especially Samsung and Motorola phones. They are atrocious. And Google's lack of icon quality control makes it even worse. Well, if you want to totally theme your phone, this is the first step. Um, it's to get a home screen replacement app or launchers, as they are properly called. I've tried many launchers. I've tried Noble Launcher, Launcher Plus, Go Launcher, etc. Even Launcher 7. Um, Apex was the one I always reverted back to mainly because it just runs smooth. It doesn't lag, it doesn't use up a lot of the phone resources, and it has lots of options to play with. I love options. The main benefit to having a custom launcher is the ability to utilize icon packs. There are tons of them in the Play Store, and it's the easiest way to give your phone a unique look. If you download Apex Launcher, I encourage you to play around with all the features Maybe watch some YouTube videos on it. It's quite fun once you get the hang of it. The free version is great as is. The pro version is $4 and enables a few more features, though I really don't find those too useful. The next app is a widget app known as Ultimate Custom Clock Widget, or UCCW. Don't let the name fool you, though. There's a whole lot more than just clocks that it can offer. I can't really explain how UCCW works or why it's designed the way it is, but I can tell you that if you do a simple search for UCCW in the Play Store, you'll notice a plethora of possibilities that beautify your home screen, and all of them require you to first have UCCW installed. To make full use of UCCW, I highly recommend installing a custom launcher like Apex Launcher that I just talked about. If you're serious about customizing your home screen, this app is a must have, especially if you're into minimal design as the majority of the widgets seem to be catered to that sort of market. Um, if you take a look at my clock widget on my home screen, it says 845, seems like a simple circle. If you notice, some of it is white, some of it is um, faded. That is a battery indicator, letting you know that my battery is about to die. The best part is it's free and so are many of the available widgets for it. All right, this next app I want to show you uh, is called Viper for Android. Hardcore audio files rejoice. If you're OCD about how your music sounds and you're one of those people that, con that are constantly fidgeting with the treble and bass knobs in your car, this app is for you. Now, I say it's for hardcore audio files only because the app is, one, it's not available in the Play Store. Two, it requires your phone to be rooted. So obviously, three, it requires you to be a little tech savvy, especially if you have an S4. As the way the uh, Samsung built, built these phones, it makes it really difficult to install Viper. But it can be done. I am proof. Um, and once it is, you'll... You'll seriously, you'll have a hard time living without it, especially if you're playing your phone on speakers, um, especially if you're playing them on computer speakers. It literally makes my $15 Logitech desktop speakers sound like $100 Bose speakers. No joke. It's mostly due to three of the biggest features Viper has to offer, um, and that is the Viper Bass, the Viper Clarity, and finally, the Convolver. Now, Viper is the first app to make convolution possible through a smartphone, and there's plenty of impulse response samples, or IRSs, to choose from. My favorite are the Xperia ones, like Clear Audio, uh, though it's hard to find those online these days. So, if you are an audiophile like me, this app is obviously a must-have, and you can have it today by visiting Viper for Android's website, following their instructions on how to download and install it. And I also recommend you check out their official post in the XDA forums for more support, um, for, more support for your device. And you can leave a comment here and I'll try to help you out, but no guarantees there. Of course, all the links are in the description, so be sure to check those out. And guess what? It's free. 
Yay! Uh, finally, we reached the end, and our attention is directed towards a glorious one-of-a-kind app. An app that, upon its release, single-handedly changed the life of many of phone nerds and computer geeks alike. And I call it the If Then app, and it's definitely not for the lighthearted. This app, my friends, is called Tasker. It's an investment of your time, patience, understanding, and yes, $3 of your hard-earned money. It's the key to automating your phone and with the right tools, your house, and possibly your life. I'll spew off some examples of what it can do and why I call it the If Then app. If I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, then I want to turn off my mobile data, my GPS, Bluetooth, and disable any app locks and lock screens. Uh, and when I'm not connected, do the opposite. So when I disconnect from my Wi-Fi, turn my GPS back on, turn my mobile data back on, and turn my Bluetooth back on. If it's the seventh day of May, then text my mom and my stepdad, happy anniversary. If I say, it's movie time, then turn off all my living room lights, dim the kitchen light, and change the TV input to HDMI 1. If it's between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m., then put the phone on silent, turn off mobile data, and if the phone's in a charging state, launch modern clock, dim the screen to the lowest brightness setting possible, and disable screen sleep. If I say, Netflix, play Bad Boys, or any movie for that matter, then launch the Netflix app, do a search for the keyword spoken, play the first movie found, and I want you to cast it to the Google Chromecast connected to the TV in the living room. Netflix, play Good Burger. Really guys, the possibilities are endless. When you've taken the time to learn the language, you start to think about your phone in a whole new way. You begin to work algorithms in your head throughout the day, and whenever you find yourself saying, man, I wish my phone did this, you instinctively try to figure out how you can achieve it through Tasker, and nine times out of 10, you can. For starters, I suggest you look up Armando, um, I will link his YouTube channel down at the bottom. He posts lots of great Tasker tutorials, and he even started a new um, Tasker tutorial channel called Tasker Tutorials, uh, which I will also link that to. Um, I recommend you watch all his Tasker videos to kind of get a grips of the what you can do uh well that wraps it up i hope i introduce you to some things and new ways to look at your phone until next time